I know things. I know things that most guys don't know about boxing. I know who. I, the one thing. The one thing you learn about yourself in a boxing match is this: you learn what you can take. You know how much you can endure. And I've endured a lot. I've endured much more than most fighters, and I've done it for less money. When I was world champion, I couldn't get a fight. Let's be honest, there was no more belted man in the world than me. I had more belts than anyone, and I couldn't even defend it. I know it is to be turned about, shunned. I know how fickle people can be. I know that if he loses, he's going to deal with the pain of people looking down on him. I know what all that feels like. So all that plays in his mind. Doesn't play in my mind, because I don't care. I'm too old to give a, give a hoot about what people think about me. That's what makes me so, that's what makes me, that's what makes me so relaxed right now. I'm sure you guys are wondering, how is this old man standing here finna fight this young lion so calm? This is what I do. Which other? Teddy Reed? Teddy Reed, man. Freddie Cadena. Um, uh, Shane Mosley. Um, Dude, I mean, you've seen it all. Every, I've seen it all. Ain't nothing you can show me I haven't seen. I mean, you have any uh, any uh, recognition of Arturo Getty or Mike here in Montreal? We only we didn't spar a lot. We didn't spar a lot. Me and Arturo couldn't. We were not allowed to spar a lot. We didn't spar. We fought. So when you have two guys that punch, can fight and punch, Arturo actually didn't like to spar me. He said that my arms were too long. He didn't like to spar. Me. Shane Moses didn't like to spar me because he says my arms are too long. Um. Um, you, you. I sparred Jimmy, Jimmy Lane. Um, I sparred um, um, the American boy, um, kid from Minnesota. Let's go. Um, Eddie Cherry. <laughs> Any great name are we from? The sparring one, one, one more than another. Me and Angel sparred a lot. We sparred, me and Angel and Freddy, we, we were roommates. <laughs> so we were sparring, we wouldn't speak to each other for the rest of the day. <laughs> um, I'm like, um, Sean Bay Mitchell, was, I was his chief sparring partner. Me and Ricky Keenis were sparring partners. He was my sparring partner for, for Casamayor. I ended up fighting him. Um, he was like a brother to me. Um, me and Shane Mosley drew, drew, drew crowds when we sparred. Um, I still have pictures of him. Um, man, you look. But those are just the guys my weight I sparred around my weight. That's not the guys like that's not the guys like the heavyweights and the, the cruiserweights and the middleweights that I boxed throughout my career. Um, I'm just a fighter, and I've always been the smallest guy in the gym, so I've always had to take whatever work was there. So I've been blessed. I have a picture that Arturo Gatti signed me, signed of me, signed for me when I was a contender. He said one day you'll be champion, and he died before I became champion. The last time. I saw him. No, he died after I became champion. And the last time I saw him, he had his hair cut short. He was here at the Bell Center. And, um, I was able to, to, to lay eyes on my friend and my daughters who love him to death, who still love him to this day, who still talk about him like he's still here with us, was able to say, Daddy, you got to see you got to see Chinese because he's always a Chinese. He slept, right? He slept all, all up to the, time he, to the time he got in the ring, to the time he was coming in the ring to train. And he would always come in and give me a hard time and I give him a hard time. And I was able to say hello to my friend and let him know how much I thanked him for all his, all his love and all his kindness. But um, and I'm, I, I hang around. And I've been around the gym with some of the greatest fighters of all time. Roy Jones and me are like brothers. I'm just man. Look, I've gleaned from some of the best fighters in the world. So we, we, we gotta be ready. We gotta have a, a good show Friday night. Always. I'll always give you. I'll, I've never given you a bad show. I will never give my fans a bad show. And I'll always give you my best. And I'm always going to give you everything I have. Um, what I know about boxing. Is that boxing loves fighters? Boxing loves fighters. Um, I love boxing. Um, I had a very good job one time, and I was sitting on the sofa, and I said, "Man, I can do that." And I was 22 years old, and the guy said, "Oh, man, sit down. You can't do that." And he rolled me for about two years. So I finally went and found a gym. And 15 years later, I became world champion. So evidently, I really could do that. So I thank you all for having me.